yeah so i was talking about uh, the i have all, you can find found the all the classes like up to class 4 in the youtube channel name tanmay khan and there is there will be a specific uh, specific playlist uh, naming that chemistry and physics of surface and interface so what have been done in this week i will just start from there okay so this week mainly we have learned about in the week 5 we learned about at first the scanning tunneling microscope basic then a bit about what is tunneling current and what are the factors that actually uh, that actually govern the amount of tunneling current what is the tunneling potential right like, like that and similarly uh, the tunneling probability uh, what are the factors that depend uh, like uh, upon which tunneling probability actually depends upon right and then we have uh, known something called surface states and then scanning tunneling spectroscopy and then basically the uh, lectures is actually uh, depends upon this scanning tunneling spectroscopy what is that and how it will be different for uh, atom what are the problems there in so that is the discussions of today's uh, that is the discussion of this week's uh, this week's classes right now in today's lecture what i will try to do try i'll try to solve the problems given by the faculty right so let me come to the first question what is the typical range of a tunneling current what is the typical range of a tunneling current in scanning tunneling microscope this is a very uh, this is an informative type question but uh, from the concept of tunneling from the concept of tunneling you know this tunneling is basically a purely quantum mechanical phenomena right and what is tunneling tunneling is nothing but the uh, not, nothing but like where one should not get uh, one should not find the particle uh, classically but due to the wave nature due to the quantum mechanical nature of the particle you are able to find it like uh, like if you think that if you think about me that i am doing this uh, class from this room so i am here so you cannot find me anywhere else except this room so that is my classical position but in this that is not true for electron like electron can be found somewhere where it is like classically not possible let's say this is a box some electron is there so that means the probability should be one here and except this box it should be zero if the if the potential walls are that much high so that it cannot access outside so that means the probability should be zero but if we think about the wave nature so the wave is not actually completing in this inside this box so there is some probability in outside the box and due to that if we take uh, let's say put one more if we let's say put one more box like this so we can found some probability here so the probability will not be zero here and probability will not be totally one here it will be some it, there will be some probability in this due to the nature of the wave nature or the quantum mechanical nature of the electron so that means you you see that if, it, if this, this is the probability of finding it the probability is very very less it is there but very very less so that means if we keep the box here let's say so the probability will be much much lesser you cannot find it so that means this this probability totally depends upon the distance s if it is the distance that means the current actually current normally what is current Elect a current proportional to number of electron right number of electron flowing so if the finding the probability of finding electron here is very very less the current is also going to be very very less and normally it is in the order of 10 to the power minus 15 to 10 to the power minus 19 ampere and we'll know like minus 15 and minus 9 means this is a femto ampere 
and this is nano ampere. So this will be my answer. That is going to be from femto ampere to nano ampere, right? So let's go to the second question. What is the second question? Allow him to join. Yeah. So coming back to the second question, right? What is the second question? On which factors the tunneling current depends on when an electrical voltage is applied between sample and T and tunneling phenomenon results in a net electrical current. So what is the question? On which factors the tunneling current depends on when an electrical voltage V is applied between sample and T and tunneling phenomenon results in a net electrical current. If we go for go by the Ohm's law, what do you know? We know that the voltage is actually proportional to I, right? That means the current is a uh, current depends upon the voltage. But here it is not it not the there is no ohmic contact is not there. Rather, it's it is about the tunneling current. So what are uh, how it is tunneling current happening? Let's uh, we just try to uh, visualize this. So this is my tip, and this is the surface layer, and in between there is a gap. So basically, uh, like classically, it should not move. Uh, so one electron should not move from tip to tip to the surface or surface to the tip, but as the electrons are having a quantum mechanical nature, so it will, it will tunnel and similarly we will get a tunneling current. So if we just try to uh, the, draw the potential versus the distance diagram, so then this is, let's say this is the tip, right? This is the tip and this is the surface. So now what is Fermi energy? Fermi energy is at zero Kelvin, the highest occupied energy level like after that there will be no like the, not high like after the fermi energy there will be no such orbital no such energy level where a, where a particle can be found right but it is in the zero kelvin you need to remember so before uh, like below the fermi level the energy bands are called a valence band and in case of metal actually there is not discrete energy levels it actually forms a band and above the fermi level this forms a conduction band Right, I'm talking about the tip, and if let's say the surface and tip are um, actually formed by, by the same metal, then the Fermi level of metal is going to be again same. And now, to like from this metal surface, if we want to like eject a one electron from that, so that electron needs to uh, get some energy more than that, and that energy, like after a certain energy reach, that they, there will be electron ejection not below that energy such any electron cannot like move from the uh, cannot come out from the surface and that energy that that optimum energy which is required to uh, eject one electron is called it's it's uh, it's called is work function right and it is denoted by phi that is nothing but the work function so what is work function it is the minimum energy required to eject one electron from a metal surface or from a, from, from a material. So this is the work function. So that, that means both of the surface and tip as they are formed by the similar metal will have similar kind of work function. So one, the tip is denoted by phi t and the surface is denoted by the phi s, right? Phi t and phi s. Now, so these are the vacuum. So now both the things are in, uh, like this, this, is a, this is a picture no, right now. So this is the surface. So obviously there is also valence band of the surface, and there that is also the conduction band on the surface. Now in this situation, one electron can go to this, and again electron can come to this as well by tunneling. So in a so when there is no such potential is applied, it is like that. So due to tunneling, electron will like electron will go from tip to surface and surface to tip. So in that case, we will no, like we will not get any net current. So it is an equilibrium situation. So from that equilibrium situation, we cannot get any information. 
So to get any information about how the current will be, how the tunneling current will be, we need to apply some kind, some kind of bias, some kind of voltage. So that means now the tunneling current, whenever we are applying some voltage, is going to depend upon that voltage. So the tunneling current, normally if we say it is I, it will obviously depend upon the voltage. Let's say this is U voltage. Now it will depend upon the barrier height, how much uh, it will depend upon the barrier height, that is the how much energy it is required to come out from the surface. So that is again going to be the phi, right? So that is the normally, normally, let me just erase it. So normally, the tunneling current is uh, like proportional to this equation in obviously a positive applied voltage because otherwise we will not get not gain any net current otherwise it is only in the equilibrium whatever the current is going from tip to surface again it is coming from the surface to tip so there is no net current so whenever tunneling current is we already know that we will get it when i applied voltage so let's say we have applied a positive voltage so that time the tunneling current will depends upon this u so what is this u this is the applied voltage now it will depend upon the rho t and rho s rho t and rho s is nothing but the density of states of t and density of states of surface right this is the density of states of the t and uh, surface so normally it is written as dos density of states so this is this is the these are the two thing, things that means how much electron like what is density of state i will again and discuss in a different question but just to uh, let you know that is density of state is in a in a energy in a single energy level how many states are there right the number of states are there is called as the density of states now this uh, it will depend upon this rho t and rho s and again it will depend upon this epsilon minus 2 ks and this is nothing but the tunneling probability how much is the probability of tunneling right that is that will actually also going to determine the tunneling current okay so this is this is the i so now you just try to answer so let me just uh, yeah so so that means it will depend upon the voltage voltage density of states of the tip density of states of surface and the tunneling probability. Now, this, uh, what is the uh, term in tunneling probability? We already know this is the distance between tip and surface, that is S. So, obviously, the tunneling probability will, will be uh, depending upon that uh, distance between the tip and surface. And this K is nothing but the decay constant. It is known as decay constant. And this depends upon the part, uh, particle mass that is m and this is the barrier height or you can say the work function and at which energy we are talking about that is also that is the energy of the electron at which which energy we are talking about so these th three things right now from this equation the decay constant you can see there is a very strong dependence of m that is the mass of the particle right mass of the particle now we know mass of the particle of uh, mass of uh, electron is very very less that's why that it is in the minus k right so if the mass is higher so the probability of tunneling will be lesser that's why particle like uh, us like a human body or whatever a big particle cannot tunnel because the mass is very very higher it is not at all a quantum mechanical particle so to can tunnel uh, with respect like the distance would be minimum distance there will be a very small distance and as well as we need to have a very very small uh, mass particle right the particle cannot be a very big mass so that can that is not possible to that that, that, that will that will not be able to tunnel so now what are the things they have given in the questions the tipped surface distance obviously we already know so it is going to be depend upon the tip surface distance now the voltage applied obviously the voltage applied because if you apply more voltage because at whenever we are not applying any voltage that time no current is there now we know this tunneling current is like totally proportional to the voltage applied so if you apply the voltage more and more 
it we are going to get more tunneling voltage so it is obviously depending upon the uh, it will obviously depend upon the voltage now also the work function because the tunneling probability itself probability itself depends upon the work function so that is also going to be the case so what will be the answer that is going to be all of the above right also the mass and thing that has not not had been has been asked in the question but that are also going to describe the tunneling probability so this is the answer okay let me allow me so this is the question so we have uh, understood the question number 2 now we'll come to the question number 3 if i going to question number 3 what i have said that whenever there is no such uh, applied voltage is there there is no net tunneling current so to get tunneling current because that is the main thing about the scanning tunneling microscope we are going to measure the tunneling current so if we are not getting any tunneling current before applying the voltage we need to apply some voltage so what will happen to this kind of energy energy schematic diagram of energetics whenever we apply a voltage so let's say this is the this is whenever we apply some kind of uh, positive bias so whatever whatever bias i am talking about we are always putting the bias or the voltage in the in the surface itself right we are never putting any voltage to the tip we are if i am putting positive voltage to the surface then it's a positive bias if we are putting negative voltage to the surface that is a negative bias but the tip is always grounded this is the uh, working principle of stm tip is always grounded right now whenever we apply some kind of positive voltage to the surface this surface that time obviously this is this is not positive so electron will obviously come to this electron will come right electron will come So this is the electron direction of electron. Now, if we if we apply, and this is the distance, obviously, yes, is the distance. Now, if we apply more voltage, so that time electron will come like more easily. So we will get voltage more. We will get the current uh, tunneling current more because we already seen the tunneling current is proportional, directly proportional to the voltage. So if we apply more voltage, then obviously tunneling current is going to be much higher. So if we now try to draw what is what will be the tunneling current versus voltage plot so this is like in first case let's say this is the case one this is the case one this is case two and this is case three if we put the point like if it is this then it will be this and this so obviously so this is the voltage right you is the voltage here and this is the tunneling current so we are going to get more and more voltage whenever we apply more and more bias so somebody is there you need to allow him yeah okay so so we are going to get more and more voltage one like more and more current whenever we are applying more and more voltage now that is uh, that is going to be the same for negative voltage as well so this is let's say a negative so that time the electron flow so here i am putting a negative voltage so obviously now electron will uh, this is going to be positive so then then electron volt like electron movement will be in this direction right electron movement will be in this direction so we are going to get a tunneling current that is negative obviously but if we apply more voltage so the current tunneling current maybe it is negative but we will get more and more current so obviously if we draw the negative axis plot so it will look like something like this right so let me just draw it like this so it will look like this this is going to be the tunneling current versus voltage plot but in case of ohmic in case of like ohmic contact where there is like direct uh, current contraction that is not tunneling that is normal current right that is ohmic current when that there is no such uh, no such no such junction or no such tunneling is actually happening let's say that this is a this is a metal body and some metal body is this so if that electron is moving at that time we know from the uh, ohms law that is v is actually proportional to i so if we increase the voltage obviously let's say v or u whatever if we increase the voltage in ohmic case also we are going to get much more voltage 
we are going to get much more current but it is it will be in a like straight fashion right this they, this is a like uh, some curvature we are getting but in case of ohmic current we are going to get a straight line so this is for ohmic right and this is for tunnel tunnel current right these are i think you have understood everything okay so this is the actual this is the plot this is the plot for the tunnel linker so we uh, get the idea so now this will be very very easy to solve that's why i have uh, discussed everything so now what happens at the tip surface tunneling junction for this case so let me just read out all the options so what are the options tunneling of electron from valence band of tip to surface when the surface is positively charged with respect to tip okay tunneling of electron from hell so they are asking actually direction of direction of electron right they just want to ask what is the direction of electron like that is from valence band and conduction valence band to conduction band of something or not that is the question mainly so tunneling of electron from valence band of tip valence band of tip to surface when the surface is positively charged with respect to tip now tunneling of electron from conduction band of tip to surface when the surface is uh, this is from valence band this is from conduction band okay let me allow him okay so these are the options so some it is from so we need to know what is a uh, is it from valence band of tip to surface or the conduction band of tip of the surface and then is the surface is positively charged or negatively charged now we know for previous case right so if whenever the electron is going if the electron is going towards that that is going to be positively charged right now come back to this so electron is going towards this direction it is mentioned that means this is positively charged so we got the surface needs to be positively charged so this this surface needs to be positively charged this is of surface is positively charged so these two are uh, correct options because electron is going towards this that means this is positively charged right now we know so below the fermi level we already know that below the fermi level that is valence band right and the below and then above the fermi level is conduction band right so this is going to be vb and this is conduction band so obviously from the so what is what what the current is coming from normally cb is not having electron only valence bond is having electron so whenever electron is moving from wherever electron is moving from it is going to be a valence band right so obviously electron is going from this valence band to above of the fermi level right so this is the conduction band so this to this 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 to this is the direction of this to this is the direction of the electron this is the direction of so valence band of tip to conduction band of the surface right so so these are the thing so obviously this is going to be valence band and positive charge other in all the other options it is written conduction band so this is not going to be the case although it is positive charge is mentioned right in the third option they have given that is a valence band right valence from valence band electron is moving because this is the valence band and this is the conduction band so from the valence band electron is moving but the surface is never going to be negatively charged if the surface is negatively charged so then electron will move to the opposite direction so surface is positively charged you know so that is wrong in this part so this is not the option and this is also not the option because conduction band is also wrong here and the negative charge is also wrong so this is going to be the option right you got this so to solve this kind of question we just need to see two three things i am writing it down again first first follow the direction of electrons right 
and the notice electrons are moving towards positive end because electron is having negative charge it will always move towards positive end so wherever electron is moving the arrowhead this is the arrowhead is always towards positive first option and then uh, another thing is from where to where the electron is moving normally normally like normally you can in always like the valence band is filled with electron and conduction band is actually vacant so valence band to conduction band electron transfer is going to happen right so if we just follow this two step normal then we can answer this question so again similar kind of question is there so just uh, i'll read out which of the following statement is true for this figure tunneling of electron from valence band of surface to tip when the surface is positively charged with respect to tip so we will not actually read out the options we can directly do this so the i have written what is the first option i need to take? follow the direction of electrons so what is the direction of electrons this is the direction that means this is going to be positively charged right so that means surface is going to be negatively charged so that means it is obviously grounded but just to solve the just to solve the sorry just to solve the question so this is basically from electron is going towards this so this is positive so that means the surface is going to be surface is going to be negative right one thing is done so surface is positively charged of these two option we will not look up we will just do these two option now come back to this this is the fermi level this is the fermi level fermi level of surface right surface so below the fermi level we already know this is valence band and above the fermi level is conduction band obviously conduction band surface and valence band of the surface now this is the fermi level of this is the fermi level of the tip so above the fermi level of the tip is conduction band of the tip and this is the valence band of the tip so from valence band of the surface to conduction band of the tip right i have already said always from valence band electron will go because valence band is filled not the conduction band conduction band, band is vacant or empty so here the movement is from valence band of surface to conduction band of sorry conduction band of tip and the surface is negative so surface is negatively charged right so just i'll go to this so <clears throat> this is negative this is conduction band of tip and this is valence band of surface so we'll just find out this this is valence band valence band of surface plus positively charged no this is wrong again this is conduction band this is right this is uh, this is wrong and this is also wrong this is valence band yes it is right and negatively charged obviously it is right so this is going to be the so this is going to be the answer this is going to be this is going to be the true answer right so we are we answered this thing but we already discussed about uh, this kind of bias so like uh, bias and we are having some kind of uh, voltage versus voltage versus uh, current tunneling current flow but here some new thing the green part something has been appeared what is this we need to know i will just uh, discuss about this uh, green part and normally this is called as surface states so what is surface states so what is surface states so if we go to the uh, like normal surface scenario so this part let's say this consider this this atom this is actually having coordination number is equals 4 but this 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 atom or this all these atoms are actually not having that much coordination number so these are unsaturated right unsaturated atoms so this this as these are unsaturated so this means like if you think, think about this a atom let's say this is my a atom and this is my b atom if we think about the a atom so this electron atom uh, electron of the a atom is distributed nicely distributed 
two to the four, like four nearby coordinates, coordinated atoms. But in case of B, it is only distributed to the like one, two, and three, right? So electron density. If we talk about the electron density order, then obviously A is have like B is having greater electron density than the greater electron density than the A. So in the surface, this is this is the surface molecule, surface layer. This is the surface layer I'm talking about. All the molecules are actually having similar like all the same molecules and the same kind of coordination number. So these are having higher density. So that is what in energy there will be similar kind of energy and much much like uh, all the atoms are actually having. So it will it will uh, it will actually increase the density of the state because in the same energy we will have now similar like various energy. So we will have a higher energy in this surface and that is actually represented by this green. So this is the and this is called as it is found in the surface and it is uh, found ubiquitously like where, wherever you are thinking about the surface there will be some surface state right so this surface so this is called surface state so that is a due to non-coordinated sites on the surface and extra density of electrons can be found on the surface and that is called surface state now the distance between like the energy gap between this fermi level and the surface state is called the binding energy of the surface state right this is called as the brown bounding energy of the surface state. Now, so that is what is written here. Energy difference between the Fermi energy level and the surface state energy is called the binding energy of that surface state. Now, if we think like if, if we like positive bias, if we apply. Now then, from the valence band of the tip, valence band of the tip, electron is going to the conduction band of the surface. And the surface state is not there. Surface state is actually uh, situated in the valence band of the surface. So whenever we are applying positive bias, we are going to get like no hinder or no interference from the surface state. So we are uh, again get similar kind of voltage versus tunneling current plot. So it is actually going to increase in a parabolic manner. So we are going to get uh, applying the more and more positive bias. We are going to get more and more tunneling current. Now, if we uh, if we apply a negative bias, right? Negative bias means surface is now negative. So then, if we apply negative bias, then electron is going from the valence band of the surface towards the conduction band of the tip, right? Now you can easily see then electron from the surface state also going to uh, like going to be there from uh, to the conduction band. So that means if we plot this. I versus B right now, we will get a interference or we will get a contribution of the contribution of the surface state whenever we apply negative bias in this case because it will obviously depend upon the uh, position of the surface state, right? And let me tell you this surface state position, like surface state position, or you can say the binding energy because this is nothing but the binding energy. The binding energy of the surface state actually depends on like in each metal it will be going to be somewhat different and the surface symmetry like if it is fcc 111 the structure of the surface also going to determine the binding energy or the position of the surface state right so now okay keep that as it now if we apply the negative bias and try to try to measure the uh, i versus u plot so how it will look like so obviously up to that like up to this region there is no change so it is going to be like this, but there it is a higher electron density. So obviously if the electron density is higher, we already know tunneling current depends upon the electron as well, number of electron as well. So there will be a, there will be a jump in the voltage. So there will be a uh, like higher voltage, right? At that position, at that energy, uh, at that voltage. So we can get, and again, there is nothing. So density of state is same. So we'll get similar kind of. So now, if we take a derivative plot, derivative of the uh, of this IV plot. So if we plot minus di by dv, right? Or di by dv plot with respect to u. So how will we we'll get? Sorry. So we'll get. We are, we are going to get. Let me paint the color. Sorry. So we are not going to get anything, but here we can get a peak. So why we are measuring di by dv versus uh, u? Because we can 
very easily uh, tell about the position, peak position. And that is nothing but the position of the uh, surface state or the binding energy of the surface state with respect to the Fermi energy level. Because this is the Fermi energy level. This is the Fermi energy level. But there is, uh, when there is no uh, voltage applied, there is in the Fermi energy level. So now, if we uh, uh, like plot di versus uh, di by dv versus u or the first derivative plot of this IV plot, so we can clearly get the peak position. So, and that peak position, I already told that surface state is a phenomenon of the surface, the nature of the surface, the structure of the surface. So we can measure what is the binding energy of surface state. So we can measure the characteristic of the surface state or the surface itself. So now we are going to get the energy. That's why, like in case of spectroscopy, we always get an energy. How much is the energy of this transition or whatever it is. So now, again in the scanning tunnel microscope also, we are getting the binding energy. So that's why in this mode, it is called as scanning tunneling spectroscopy. And the scanning tunneling spectroscopy is actually give the measure of local electron density at the surface because this is nothing but the local electron density. This is due to the surface. This, this, this is a phenomenon of the surface. Each surface is going to be a different thing, right? Depending upon its structure and the nature of the uh, surface atoms or molecules, right? So this is uh, nothing but the surface. State. Now we can clearly see this is uh, like surface state. We already said a surface uh, surface state is ubiquitous, right? Meaning that in all surfaces actually going to have a surface state. So that means we are talking about peep. So this in case of peep also, this atom, uh, this all the surface atoms, they are going to have some different kind of coordination number. They are going to have some different kind of coordination number than this small atom or if this is the bulk direction, all about. So this is also going to give rise to a surface state. And if this is the surface state is also there in the tip, what will be the situation in case of IV plot? We'll, we'll, we'll try to understand. So now this is this is the uh, this is surface state of the tip. This is the tip surface state and this is the surface state of surface. And this is the tip, right? So the surface state of tip. Now, if we measure, like in this is case of positive bias, in this is case of the negative bias. Now, you, you can clearly see whenever you are applying positive bias, that time the surface state of the tip is actually involved. And whenever we are applying negative bias, this is negative and this is positive also. That time the surface state of the surface is involved. So if we try to plot it very tentatively, I am I'm drawing it here and give the picture. So if we if we try to draw it in the positive region, so we will get some kind of this. And in this region also we can get, so I am talking about di by dv obviously. That's why I am getting this kind of peak. And if we, if we plot about, let's say, iv. So this will be going to like this. So in the positive bias, this is due to, in the positive bias case, this is due to the tip. So this is my tip surface state. And in the negative bias, this is due to, this is due to surface. So this is the uh, surface state of the surface, right? So this is the clear picture, right? So these are whatever I have written. So this is the case. So this is the surface state of, uh, surface state of the surface in the negative bias region. This is the positive bias region, and this is the surface state of the surface. Now, so we can clearly get all the surface step state about the tip and surface. But if we are talking about an unknown, unknown, un, unknown sample, right? So we cannot, we don't know where, what is the surface state of the tip and the surface. So that is a huge problem. So we need to get rid of this. So what is the case? So what is the problem? Mainly problem is assigning the peaks for unknown samples and the tip. So in case of unknown sample, we will never know what is the peak position of the surface state of tip and the surface. So we need to get rid of that. And normal is normal, normal uh, processes. We will get rid of the surface of the tip. So we will use some kind of tip which will not have, not having 
having surface tear. Normally, normally, AU and copper near Fermi level, near Fermi level, don't uh, like near Fermi level. They don't have density of state. Like they, they don't have the some kind of surface tear. The density of state is kind of uh, in near Fermi level. The density of state is constant. So because the uh, because of the surface state is actually density of state because this is the constant density of state is coming like that constant density of state now density of state is changing right so density of state is constant for AU and CU so if we use this as tip material and if we scan the scan in the very nearby region of the if we, nearby region of the uh, Fermi level so there is no problem but normally uh, normally people use people use uh, a people use a kind of polycrystalline tip okay so this is polycrystalline tip uh, the crystal structure of the polycrystalline tip so i will i'll discuss about what is the polycrystalline tip why it is actually removed and all so uh, so this is that this is a discussion of the surface tip so what is the polycrystal uh, metallic tip because the metallic tip all the positions are kind of similar so we are again going to get if we if we draw this density of state so we are going to get some kind of this surface state but in case of polycrystalline all these atoms are having kind of uh, different different very similar but different different kind of coordination all the atoms right so if we try to draw the density of state it will come so let's say this is for let's say one two three four five each each atom are having very similar but uh, different so we are going to get this kind of of tip, uh, sorry, surface state, right? So this is one, two, three, four, whatever. So overall, we are getting kind of a, we are getting kind of a, we are getting kind of broad. Broad kind of surface. So we are getting a broad kind of surface. Now, if it is broad, like broad, so that is not a problem. We are not getting, getting any distinct peak. So whatever the peak will come, that is due to the, it is due to only the surface. Yeah. Surface state of the surface, not from the tip. Not because tip is now, in case of polycrystalline, the tip is giving a band kind of structure. And this is a typical example, uh, like practical example, Will get us basically. So, in case of copper 111, you can see uh, in the negative 0.5, like 500 mega electron, so milli electron volt, we are getting the surface tap. So, now using a polycrystalline tip or silver uh, or, or gold in the very nearby Fermi region, one can get rid of the surface tip. So, whatever information are getting, we are getting is due to the surface itself. So, we can get clear information about that. Okay. So I have actually uh, like taken the eight, number eight question because all the discussion I'm having is going to reflect in this question and you can easily solve this. So, okay, if you, if you, if you listen to the uh, discussions I was going through, so this is the, this is, so you can clearly get this. So what are the, what is the question? Choose the correct option. So surface states originates from the dangling bond on the surface. In chemistry, dangling bond is an unsatisfying balance of an on an immobilized atom. So this surface, so this is actually having unsatisfied, all the surface are actually having unsatisfied balance, balance, uh, like coordination number, obviously. So that is true. So surface state is actually originating from that because due to the uh, less coordination number, less coordination number in the surface. And that is nothing but the dangling bond, right? The binding energy depends on the structure of the surface. The binding energy means the binding energy of the surface state. So I already told the binding energy will depend upon uh, what is the binding energy practically. We already discussed the energy difference between the Fermi energy level and the surface state energy. So this is the Fermi energy level. This is the binding energy practically of the surface state. Now it will depend upon the uh, surface state. Will depend upon the structure of the surface. So let's say this is 100, uh, 100 or 001 or 11 surface. So depending upon the surface structure, the binding energy is going to be different. 
also the nature, nature of the material so let's say you, you are taking platinum or or silver or copper that is why you are, we can use the scanning tunnel spectroscopy right to to you know what is the metal or what is the surface how is the surface phenomena so obviously the binding energy is going to be depend upon all these things so that means the binding energy depend upon the structure of the surface is very much true so this is also true now surface states arising due to tip can be removed by polycrystalline tip so we already discussed how you can remove it because of the band nature so the, all these options are correct so this is very very easy question because we have all the discussions so this is the answer right so this is the answer dangling bond surface the structure of the surface and polycrystalline tip so this is the dangling bond we know unsaturation i begin actually discussing unsaturation this is the binding energy and this is the polycrystalline energy. so this is the answer now <clears throat> again the uh, the previous discussion will come handy into this uh, answering this this problem what is true about scanning tunneling spectroscopy right so this is scanning tunneling spectroscopy what we are, it is used to measure information about the density of electrons in a sample as a function of their energy so can uh, scanning tunneling spectroscopy measure the density of electron yes obviously that's why we are getting this is nothing but due to the surface state that is nothing but the density of state so obviously we are actually measuring the density of state right so obviously this is true it is used to measure information uh, measure the information about the density of electrons because again if we measure so this is due to this is the surface state let's say this is the surface and my tip is a kind of having this kind of band energy so if we um, uh, try to draw the voltage let's say in the negative bias let's say so we are going to get this kind of thing and if we plot the di dv so this is the nothing but the peak position so we are measuring the density of state this is this is the density of state so we are measuring the density of state that is true measure the current voltage characteristics and the differential conductivity of the sample yes this is the, uh, this di by dv is nothing but the differential conductivity so this is also true so that means both a and b and there is no question of this this is wrong. this is totally wrong so this is going to be the answer both a and b right i think there is no problem okay now coming back to the question number 5 the decay constant right the decay constant k we already discussed in the past slide maybe about sorry the second question right so this is this is i have talked about the, this is tunneling probability and this is the decay constant and how it is how it depends upon right so let me go to the question now we already discussed this as well right so this is what is the decay constant the decay constant in the transmission probability or the tunneling probability depends upon we know this is the tunneling probability or transmission probability and it depends upon the the, the, the basic uh, equation of the decay constant is m that is the mass of electron and this is nothing but h dagger right so this is h dagger square and this is the work function or the barrier height you can say and this is the energy that is the that is a voltage so the energy of the electron this is the energy of the electron the voltage or the energy right obviously the barrier height is is there this is the barrier height this is nothing but this barrier height phi is basically phi t plus phi s by 2 sorry phi t plus phi so that is obviously depend on barrier height so both a and b is going to be the answer and this is not so this is the answer this is the answer both a and b it will depend upon the energy of the electron the energy of the electron again depend upon the voltage so voltage also as well, and the barrier height right obviously density of the state also going to determine the transmission not the probability that is the trans tunneling current right that is also discussed in the second question so the what will be the answer the energy of the electron and the barrier height that means the both a and b so now come to the six, uh, question number 6 right question number 6 which of the following statements is not true with respect to density of states which of the following statements is not true with respect to density of state so what is density of state we already discussed there is a number of available level present in a given energy level right in any energy how what is the like this is this is the density of this is constant density of state whenever there is surface state 
we are getting some density of strength. So that means in this energy, in this electron volt, many, 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 many such energy level is there. So this is the density of the, this is the density of the uh, states. So this is the number of level present in a given energy level. So it is a number of states that are available within a given energy unit. That is obviously true. Now density of states of surface and tip in scanning tunnel microscopy is always constant. We know if the tip is, tip is actually, let's say if the tip is a different metal than the surface, then it is always going to be the different kind of surface state is going to be there. So this is never, this, this cannot be true. It is it will depend upon the tip, uh, material of the tip, the surface, uh, like the tip, structure of the surface. And also, so it cannot, it is not always constant. It is never constant even. So this is, this is not true. This is totally wrong, right? Density of states of surface and tip cannot be seen. It will depend upon the nature of the surface material, nature of the tip material, structure of the surface and all these things. So it is not, never constant. Now, metals like gold and copper have constant density of state near its Fermi energy. Is it true? Yes, I already said no, before uh, discussing about uh, discussing the polycrystalline metal that gold and copper near Fermi level, the density is constant. Normally in case of noble metal, it is, it is the case in near Fermi level. So this is also true. And they have asked this is not true. And now clearly this is not true. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Density of surface in surface and uh, STM is not always constant. It is never constant. Now coming back to coming to the uh, second last question. We, we what is not true when cobalt add layer is formed on copper one 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 surface? And this is very discussed question in the previous assignments. Of, uh, uh, so class also I have discussed how it will form. So copper one 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 is basically FCC one 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 is actually having three fold axis of symmetry. So in a very low like coverage situation this is going to be actually triangular shape is formed and you can clearly see some triangle are like if you say this is uh, this is inverted with respect to this the two is inverted with respect to one right so this is the case this is the this is the structure of this now so what is not true they have asked so they have uh, like they, the, from the picture itself you can get that uh, there is two kind of uh, triangle are forming, two kind of add layer uh, is actually occurring and one this is called faulted and this is called unfaulted, right, depending upon the packing, right, if th this is actually where the, let's say this is the surface, This is the surface, right? Now it can go to, to uh, its easy side or it can go to a uh, HCP side. So there are two options FCC and HCP. And if you think about the packing of FCC, right? right. So how FCC look like? Is nothing but this. It is like this. So all the face are occupied and then. So if we if you like Think like this angle about the FCC. Like if you try to think FCC in this manner, try to draw this. So you can see this kind of packing. A, B, C, A. So this is A, B, C, A, B, C kind of pattern. A, B, C, A, B, C kind of pattern in case of FCC. 
but in case of hcp so in case of hcp so this 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 place is a basically hcp this is nothing but ABAB pattern. AB, AB pattern. So these are two kind of pattern. And normally in FCC, this is coming as like a triangle. And in case of HCP, this is like a inverted triangle. And that is that is what we are observing. So these two different type of work form is true, faulted and unfaulted, right? Now both the island will have same density of state. From the picture itself, you can see that there is a position is changed. So that means they are not having same density of state, right? This is the position is uh, if it is here, this is here. So density of state position are different. So both the island cannot have the same density of state, and that is the case because the packing, because the interaction, like the density of state. Let's say in this case, the packing is different. ABC, ABC, and this AB, AB. So this point is actually having six coordination and this is not having that six coordination so the coordination is different right so that's why the electrons uh, density is also going to be different if the electron bonds uh, density is different that means the surface state is also going to be different so that that is not the case so that is not true so we got the answer now let's just uh, discuss the other two options electronic properties of island electronic properties of island varies as function of island size and this is the plot i have taken that's why so this is a size is varying, right? Size is varying, and they are getting the peak, and they have uh, like in case of faulted as well, in case of unfaulted as, as well, they have like position, like peak position, they have plotted with the island size, and you can clearly see with increasing the island size, with increasing the i sorry island size peak position. In the initial side increases. Right. A, you can see from this as well. So this is the peak position of a small island, and this is the peak position of a which is the peak position of the big island. So actually it is going towards somewhat uh, less negative. So that means in positive direction it is increasing the position. So with island side, the electronic properties actually varies. Cobalt atoms are occupying the FC side in case of faulted island. Island. Yes, this is I said this is due to the FCC and this is due to the HCP. So this is due to HCP because it is red HCP and this is due to FCC. Right? How you can you can you can also uh, try to visualize as well. So this is the position. Right? Now, let me give it a black color. So this is the position. So this is. This is the position. So this is inverted triangle, right? So this is the fault. This is the unfaulted one in case of this. And in this case, this is like this. So we got the answer. Both the island will have same density of states is the wrong answer. Because it is actually having different density of state. Right? Now come to the last question. So this is the last question, and I'll discuss. This is very very important uh, discussion as, as well. So, which of the following properties of the molecule can be measured by scanning tunneling spectroscopy? In case of molecule, we know it is having uh, like molecular orbital, different different molecular orbital. Let's say in case of benzene, if we think about pi molecular orbital, pi mo. So this is actually six atomic orbital. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six atomic orbital are coming to make the uh, MO. So this there will be six uh, molecular orbital. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six kind of. And now each of the atomic orbital is having one one electron. So we total have six electron. So this will be the arrangement, right? And this will be unoccupied. In case of benzene, I'm talking. So the highest occupied energy level because these two are degenerate. These two are having same energy. And this is the highest occupied energy level. This is called as HOMO. HOMO means highest occupied molecular orbital. And these two are again degenerate and having uh, like no electron. So this is the lowest occupied molecular orbital. This this is this is some highest occupied unoccupied sorry lowest unoccupied 
lumo, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So this is, in case of all molecules, there will be homo and lumo. So homo is nothing but the highest occupied. So you can think of as the balance band and lumo is as the lowest unoccupied. So you can think of as the conduction band. So now this is the molecule, let's say. I, I'll, I'll discuss this question. Okay, just before that, what will be the IV plot for a molecule? I will discuss. And then you can answer this. I don't have to answer this as well. So this is homo and this is the lumo. Right? This is the homo, this is the lumo for the metal also. Now, this is this is on lowest unoccupied, this is the homo, uh, this is the highest occupied. Now, if we apply a bias, now at first case we are applying positive. Positive on the sample means this is positive bias we are applying. Now, positive bias if we apply, so from the balance band of the teeth, electron will come to the Lumo of the Lumo of the like conduction, obviously the conduction band or the other lumos of the sample, but it will actually uh, contribute, it will have the contribution from the lumo. So whenever we are applying positive bias, we are we are actually having the count, uh, contribution from the lumo. Similarly, if we apply negative bias, so from the balance band of the surface or the homo molecule will so here not the like here from the management it will come directly to the lumo and from here homo directly it will come to the uh, the conduction band of the teeth right so there we will get the information about the homo so this is the typical iv plot this is like inverted this is the i axis and this is the voltage and obviously this is the positive voltage and this is the negative voltage so this this uh, this uh, um, so this, this this peak is due to the lumo of the molecule and then in the negative range, the peak is due to the homo. So if we take dy by dv plot, so this will give the peak position of the homo and lumo, right? Will give the peak position of the homo and lumo. And for a typical molecule like uh, pentacin, normally if we uh, do that again in the positive bias we get the lumo, and in the uh, negative bias we get the homo position. And this is a nice dy by dv plot and all this. But now if we try to image one in the positive bias case and one in the negative bias case. Now, in case of positive bias, everything is happening from the lumo, like electron is coming to the lumo, and in negative bias, the electron is going from the home. So, this is the image. This is in homo means, this is in negative bias, this is in neutral, and this is in positive bias. So, you can see a picture. At first, it is very, like, you can see, this is, what is this, like, uh, long electron density, but having some lobe, one lobe, it is kind of having lobes, right? So we get some fine structure of the homo. And in case of lumo also, we did not get such fine, but we at least get some kind of lobe again in case of lumo. So by that, using this spectroscopy, scanning time spectroscopy, we are getting the structure of homo and lumo. And with the calculation, quantum mechanical calculation, people have uh, tried how the homo will look like and this is similar like this. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a total 10 number of loops, uh, loops are there. And in this case also you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So similar kind of structure we are getting from the scanning tunneling spectroscopy. So scanning tunneling spectroscopy can give the structure of homo and lumo very nicely right now we'll discuss about the question so which of the following properties of the molecule can be measured by the scanning tunneling spectroscopy gap obviously because uh, in positive bias we are going to get the position of lumo with respect to the fermi level and in negative bias we are going to get the position of homo with respect to the uh, fermi level so obviously we are going to get the gap the relative position of homo and lumo with respect to fermi energy that is what we are actually measuring so that is also can be measured Gap is measured, gap can be measured, this is can also be measured, and differential conductivity, obviously, because we have already so shown you that di by dv plot we are measuring. So differential uh, differential conductivity can be measured, and along with that, which is not written, one can also get the structure of homo and lumo of the molecule one can find it using sts right so 
all of the above, all these things can be done. So the answer is going to be all of the above, right? So these are the all the answers uh, kept here from one to ten. You can directly find these things. So thank you for your time, and I'm going to stop here. So if you can ask any question if you have, and then I'll just like close the meeting and we'll meet in the next week.